Hi guys, welcome back to Taylor. It's time for another Theory Quickie. Here's a question from the FAA database. Which distance is displayed by the DME indicator? A. Line of sight, direct distance from the aircraft to the Vortac in statute miles. B. Slant range distance in statute miles. Or C. Slant range distance in nautical miles. I currently have the aircraft set up inbound to the Treasure Vortac, which is on a VHF frequency of 117.3. As far as civilians are concerned, this is a VOR with the DME co-located. DME operates in the ultra high frequency band, however it's always co-located and tied to a VHF frequency, so it never needs to be tuned separately. The DME acronym stands for the imaginative name of distance measuring equipment. It couldn't have taken long to come up with that one. You'll see here at the bottom of the PFD, I have a DME readout set up. You'll also see at the top of the PFD here, there's another distance readout, which is a GPS readout, which I've set up for comparison purposes. Both readouts are given in nautical miles, but are taken from different sources. DME works on a principle of interrogate and response. So it sends a message to the DME station and then receives a reply and then calculates the distance from the station based on the time taken to receive the reply. Given the way this is calculated, this will always be an exact distance between the aircraft and the DME station. If we were to think of this as a right angle triangle, we are therefore measuring the hypotenuse, which is the longest side of the triangle, and will therefore give a figure which is a higher value than the actual distance over the ground to the station. This is called slant range. So as we get closer to the DME station, notice how the GPS distance reduces at a faster rate than the DME readout. This is because the triangle that we were talking about is becoming more squashed and therefore the hypotenuse is much longer than the ground distance vector. This error becomes more and more apparent the closer you are to the station, and the error is at its maximum when we are directly over the top of the DME station. At this point, the DME is reading the height above the station in nautical miles. Now in this case, the station is at sea level, and we're at 3000 feet altitude. You'll see as we come over the top of the DME station that the GPS readout is almost reading zero, whereas the DME is still telling us that we're half a mile from the station. That's because there are approximately 6,000 feet in a nautical mile, and therefore we are about half a mile above the station. Here's an example of crossing the DME station at 6,000 feet. Notice the greater difference between the DME readout and the GPS readout than the difference was reading at 3,000 feet. You'll also notice that as we cross the DME station, the GPS readout will reach almost zero, whereas the DME readout will not read less than one nautical mile. And that's because, as stated before, there's 6,000 feet in a nautical mile, and we're therefore one nautical mile above the station. And finally, here we are crossing the DME station at 12,000 feet, which took me about 12 years to climb to in the Cessna 172. See the, the distance on the GPS is 1.1 nautical miles and the distance readout on the DME station is 2.2 nautical miles. Therefore that's quite a large difference. As we cross over the DME station, you'll see that the DME readout does not read less than two nautical miles. And once again, that's because there's 6,000 feet in a nautical mile. We're therefore two nautical miles above the DME station at this point. So the answer to the question which distance is displayed by the DME indicator is C. Slant range distance in nautical miles.